Using the Tommy Tippy food and bottle warmer is a great way to heat your baby's food quickly and evenly. Make sure you have a flat surface for your warmer and that the cord is pushed through one of the gaps on the base of the unit to ensure it's steady. To get started, place your fill container inside the warmer. Now you can heat uh, food jars or bottles, but just bear in mind that large or glass containers may take longer to heat through. Next, add water to around one centimetre below the rim of the warmer. You might want to leave extra space for a large container. Just make sure you don't let the water overflow or rise above the neck of the bottle. Before you plug in the warmer, make sure it's down at the min setting. Then, move the dial all the way up to three to heat your feed. Once the water in your warmer has heated up to the current setting level, the amber light will switch off. This means that the water will stay at the current temperature. It doesn't mean that your milk will be ready to feed. You can find guidance on how long to warm your feed by looking at the table in your instruction leaflet. When your milk has reached the right temperature, you're ready to feed. Take care when removing the bottle from the warmer as it and the surrounding water will be hot. And always check the temperature of your feed by testing it on the underside of your wrist. You can always keep the bottle warm in between feeding by replacing it in the warmer and turning the setting down to one or two. When you're finished, turn the dial back to min, unplug the unit and allow to cool. You can then pour away the remaining water and wipe down with a damp cloth to keep clean. It's also a really good idea to descale your unit every four weeks. You can use a general purpose descaling sachet and follow the instructions in the pack.